If you've been Googling best 3D printers for kids, stop. This is the answer. The Bamboo Lab A1 Mini is the most kid-friendly printer that we've used. It has an app that kids can print with without even using a computer. So if you're looking for something that is user-friendly, if you don't have any 3D printer experience and you're a little bit worried about how you're going to use a printer, this is the way to go. It comes completely assembled straight out of the box. So if you're getting this as a gift, if you're thinking Christmas morning, you're not going to have to worry about extensive building experience. We pulled this straight out of the box and had it printing within 10 minutes. It's going to automatically calibrate the machine so you don't have to worry about a lot of tech skills. Your kids can pull it out, download the app, and be ready to go almost immediately. So most 3D printers sound fun in theory until you pull them out of the box and actually start using them and realize they have a lot of maintenance or they end up having a lot of repairs and then they're not quite as fun and they end up sitting on a shelf and not getting used. This one has been going almost nonstop since my kids got it. The only reason it's not running right now is because my kids are not awake yet. We have kids fighting over who gets to print next. It comes with the Bamboo Handy app and it has loads of pre-loaded designs so kids don't have to have any design experience. They can just go through the app and pick something that they want to print. We do have this AMS system on ours. You can see it's got four different filaments on it. That does allow multicolor printing. I think it allows for some extra fun designs on it, but you can do it without this or add that later. The base model is a really great price. So if you want just a kind of a base model and do one single color design, you can start with the base model and add this AMS system later. I love the multicolor design. I think you get some really fun designs with that, being able to do that. So first of all, the big question parents have is assembly. This does come fully assembled straight out of the box. We just had to open it up. It was wrapped up and we just pulled it out, put it on the shelf and it was ready to go. The only assemble that we did have is this AMS system had some wires that we had to hook up and it was really simple. It just took a few minutes to get that set up. And that was just because we had a little extra setup with that AMS system because it was a separate system and it, and it was all packaged in the box, but we had to hook that up separately. And again, that only took a few minutes. It was just a few extra steps, but everything else was all packaged up together and ready to go. So there were no tools, there was no adjusting, there were no separate parts other than this AMS system if you buy that separately. There's no guessing if you built it right. We've had 3D printers before that we have assembled from scratch and we've always wondered, did we build that right? Did that part go there? We've even had 3D printers that we bought and you have to 3D print some of the parts after you buy it. There's none of that with this. This, you just pull it out of the box, plug it in and it's ready to go. So that really makes it a great beginner printer for somebody with no experience or if you have kids that just are ready to get printing as soon as they have this. So it also calibrates itself with just one tap. That makes it really easy to go. Just one tap calibration with this thing and it's ready to go. So that includes bed leveling, nozzle distance, vibration compensation, all of those things that usually require adult troubleshooting or you know somebody who has 3d printing experience they're just done for you kids can literally just hit start and the printer does everything okay let's talk print quality because that's a big question that people have i have been really impressed with the print quality we do have a prusa the prusa that we have my kids are pickier than i am about this and so my kids told me that the prusa print quality is a little bit higher but our prusa is a much higher end printer so if you look at them side by side, the Prusa is a little bit smoother, but this prints much faster than the Prusa does. Our Prusa is a little bit older and this can knock out prints much faster, which if you've got kids who are not very patient and they just want to get their print done, this thing is lightning fast. I mean, my kids can sit there and watch some of these prints and just sit there and wait for them to be done, which is not happening with the Prusa. So some of those Prusa prints have to sit overnight. And especially when you consider the speed, I think the quality looks great. My daughter likes to paint these prints and they're smooth enough for her to paint them without sanding. She doesn't even really have to prime many of them. You can prime them if you want to, but the, the paint has stuck to it just fine without priming it. If you look really closely, like some of the older 3D prints, you could see lines and stuff. If you look really closely, you can see some of the lines, but overall, they're really nice and smooth, especially when you consider just how fast these prints are printed. My kids will actually, some of these smaller prints, they'll just sit and watch them print because they really like the process. So if you've got these younger kids, I've had a lot of people ask me the best 3D printer for an eight-year-old. Some of these eight-year-olds don't want to wait three, four five hours for a print. They want to sit there for 20 minutes and then have their little toy printed and stuff. And you can do that with this printer. It should, it's just really fast. And then they've got their toy printed or their fidget toy or whatever they're printing and it's done and the quality is pretty good. So this is a great option. If you need something fast, it's still great quality. My daughter's printed all kinds of things that they look great. Honestly, unless you really sit there and analyze them, you're not going to notice the difference between this and a higher end printer.
So we've done toys, we've done little desk organizers, we've done ornaments for the tree, we've done household decorations, functional items, all kinds of things, and you just don't notice any problem with the quality. So it's been great. As far as the software, the software they have is very simple to use. You'd have to download the Bamboo Handy app. I have twin 11-year-olds and a 13-year-old, and they all use this just fine on their own. I, I need to dive in there and use it more, but honestly, it's been so easy for them to use on their own that they jump in there, find their own projects, they get it printing and they have not needed any help getting this going. After the first day, my teenager who's really into 3D printing has gotten them started and then they have not needed any help. So they jump in there and they take turns getting their prints going and they have had a few things that every once in a while something will get clogged and they troubleshoot it and they fix it. But they have had very few problems with the printer and they just know how to get their prints going and they know how to find their own things. The app is very, very easy to use. They can use it on phones or iPads, but the, it works great on a phone. So they have just primarily used it on phones and they send their prints straight to the printer from there. It is really nice that they can do that without any previous design knowledge. If they get to the point, you can actually work on designing your own prints. But if you want to just get started out, you can send your prints straight with those pre-designed files. And you don't have to have any design knowledge. You don't have to have any software knowledge. You just have to pick your print and send it straight to the printer. So it's a great way to introduce kids to 3D printing. If, if they want to take it a step, step further, kids can't even change colors in the app, resize their files, and make little minor changes like that with very little design knowledge. If you do want to teach them design skills later on, they can use tools like Tinkercad, Fusion 360, and other modeling programs. The A1 Mini supports all of those programs. So this does work for absolute beginners and for more advanced projects down the road as well. So for more advanced color printing, you do need this AMS system. This will allow multicolor printing. You can do up to four colors at one time. I think the projects look a lot more fun when you have that multicolor option. Uh, they just look a little bit more advanced when you have more than one color on them. They look a little bit more like a professional project, I think. Um, but you can certainly do the one color option. When you have this AMS system set up, kids don't have to do anything different. They just have to select the colors and then the printer does everything else. So this system right here is the AMS light. Kids just select the colors that they need in the printer. Now, just one note, if you do buy the bamboo filament, um, you can actually see the colors that you're using in the bamboo app, which is just kind of a nice perk. You can certainly use other filaments, but these do have something that you can scan. And so that makes it really easy to see which colors are happening within the app itself. So it's just a nice little bonus, but you can certainly use other filaments as well. There is a workaround. If you want to get really creative and you don't have this AMS system, you can technically print with multicolor. It just involves swapping the filaments, um, hoping it doesn't get jammed. It's just a lot of work. We've done it in the past. It's just a lot of work and sometimes things get jammed. With this system, the printer just does it for you. So it's it's a lot less work. And with beginner printers, manually switching the filaments out is probably not something you're going to do. And so the AMS light system is something that makes that really easy. And it's it basically gives you a more advanced printing skill for these beginner printers. And if you are a more advanced printer, it takes the work out of it for you. For you parents, the big questions that you probably have are how much space does it take up and how loud is it? This is separate, so you can move this around. Sometimes you have it kind of, it could go like this, but we have a shelf. It could be churned and we have a shelf there, so we kind of have it at an angle just because that's what fits in our space. But this is a set piece, so you could kind of adjust that to fit your space, which is what we've done because we have this bookshelf that kind of sticks out. This I get you measurements in the description, but this little base is not very big. I'd say this part is probably less than 12 inches. It's not very big. Like my, with my hand, my hand is going all the way across here. So it's not very big. Um, I probably can't see it for like my hand is going all the way across the front base of it. It's deeper going back, but the front width is not very wide. What takes up the space is this AMS system. So if you don't have that, this this actual unit itself is not very wide. As far as sound, it's while it's printing, it's not very loud. It almost sounds like a fan. When I've had it printing a few times, I, I sit there going, is water running? When we first got it, I kept thinking the sink was left on or, or we had a fan going on. So it sounds almost like white noise. It does make this little um, sing-songy music sound when it turns on. My kids actually really like it. It's fun for them. But it just plays for like 10, 15 seconds. It's not very long. So it doesn't bother us at all. It plays a little a little tune and then it stops and it 
and turns on that white noise sound. So the rest of the time, it's just soft, soft noise. It's not very loud at all. We actually have this in our front room. It's in our main living space. The filament that it uses is PLA filament. So it's perfectly fine to have in your main living area. But the noise itself is just a white noise and it's not very loud. If your kids love STEM, if they love building stuff, if they're into engineering and just any, any type of creating, this is perfect for all of those things. So this will really let them take any project that they can think of and bring it to life. One of my daughters really likes making little miniature houses, and this will let her make any of those little pieces that she usually makes out of cardboard, and she'd make it out of PLA. She also likes making little things for her desk. She likes making little figurines. You can make fidget toys. There's pretty much everything. All of the little popular dragon fidgets that kids have, like you can make those. There's pretty much no limit to what you can make with this. Kids can just really use their imagination and get super creative. So it's a great addition to your home and it's a great alternative to sitting in front of the TV because it lets kids just do something hands-on. So this Bamboo A1 Mini is perfect for beginners, but it also is something that's going to grow with them. It's a great budget-friendly printer. They do have a step up from this, but this is a great starter printer. So it's going to be something that they can use for a long time. I highly recommend it for anybody that is looking to get into printers, but it's also great for that younger crowd. So eight and up, I would say, but teenagers would have fun with this as well. So if you are new to 3D printing, this is a great place to start. It's simple, it's fast, and it's way more reliable than anything else we've seen in this price range. Check out the link for our unboxing video here.